What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to learn from your mistakes within your trading, as well as walk you through the process step by step. So let's dive into the charts. Stoked to get into this video today, reason being we have a live example, which is dollar yen. So we've been taking out this trade for 2.2% profit, which I entered yesterday. And I wanna take you through the exact process that I use in terms of ASR and actually documenting these trades. So before we get into the live example, what exactly is ASR? ASR, for those of you who don't know, stands for Advanced Self Review, and it is the process of documenting the trades that you've taken, documenting any trades that you haven't taken um, that maybe fit your plan, and really starting to learn from your mistakes, make any tweaks, and really starting to apply those tweaks going forward. So getting into the live example, what's the very first thing that I do once I take a trade? The very first thing to do is I start up with the high time frames and I'll take a screenshot. Reason being is it gives us a very good live representation of the, what that trade looks like when we took the trade, which is obviously very good for reviewing purposes. So in terms of Windows keyboard, I'm not sure what it is to screenshot, but on the Mac it's press and hold down command, shift and four. You can also do it with the keyboard three as well. And you all you do is press and drag across. Simple, and it'll give you a little preview here to use, which will usually crop up on your desktop, which I'll show you in a minute. And we have a nice little feature on TradingView, which allows us to wind back price to the time frame that we like. So we're gonna utilize that here and go back to the time of the trade. So as you can see here, I've just been triggered into the trade at this point. So that's the reason I'm winding price back to this moment. I'm gonna take another screenshot. Here we go. So very simple so far, just take a screenshot. You're not always gonna be at the charts at the time of trade, so that replay mode is very, very useful. So first thing that I do is to go to Notion. Now there's so many other platforms you can use. You can use Evernote, Word, Notion. I'm sure there's many more as well. I like to use Notion, I really like the platform. So first things first, I separate my ASR out into two different sections trades that I've taken throughout the week and other go-to setups that maybe I've not taken for a reason it could be I was sleeping or I've just not forecasted or just not prepared enough. But those trades that I've missed will go in there. So we're gonna dive into both and I was actually talking about this at the conference. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you a quick snippet of the conference. <laughs> In terms of backtest and do the exact same thing as Courtney, in terms of live markets, it's a little bit different. So what I basically do is separate my ASR into trades that I've taken and then any other go-to setups that I've missed, I'll put that in there. But then the key thing is to treat it exactly the same as I do with my normal ASR. The reason for this is a psychological thing of if you've missed a trade, you're trying to close that gap between where you are and where you want to be. So it's almost like you're saying in your mind, okay, well, in the future, I'm going to be there. So I'm almost documenting it in real time. I'll go through all my ASR documents. So obviously I've got January, February, March, April. I'll go through all of those, really start to see what emotions and what lessons I was feeling at the time. And then I'll do a little self-reflection summary of, okay, well, if for example, I've missed a trade, why did I miss that trade? Did I forecast it? If I have forecasted it, then why didn't I take it? You know, so it's it's a little bit that it's about that self-reflection and I underestimated that for the longest time, but it's, it's such a big key, honestly. When you take the time to do your ASR, really dive deep into why you've missed certain trades. Jake talks about this a lot in coaching calls. It's, it's a big thing. If there's one thing that's helped me over the last three months, it's been that, 100%. So getting back into the ASR process, the first thing I'm gonna do is take you through the trades taken. So let's go through that. You can see how I have it very laid out and organized. I'm gonna to go to June, because that's the month that this video was recorded in. I'm gonna scroll right down to so the bottom of the page so I can use this example. Now, this is where the screenshots come into play. You can see we've got the screenshots here. 
gonna grab these last two which I used and post it under the screenshots section. Now, for those of you who, who like this template, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. So feel free to use that if you like, and it's just very simple and you can customize it to your liking. So another thing that I like to do is forecast the trades ahead of time and take screenshots. Now, if you haven't watched my last video, I broke this down step by step, so definitely recommend checking that out. But the reason for this is to use it as a cross reference. So before I take a trade, I will plan those trades in advance in detail so that when that trade materializes, I know exactly what I'm looking for. There's no real hesitation and I will just take the trade. So we can see that example there. All I'm gonna do is just fill out a bit of information and you can see exactly what I'm filling out. So as you can see, all I've basically done is fill out a bit of basic information. I've got the pair and the direction. So I've got, it was Euro, uh, dollar yen short, and then I took the trade on the 11th of June, 2019. Profit or loss was 2.2% profit. And the grade of setup, was it a high probability setup or was it a valid setup? So high probability in this respect for my this style that I'm trading and the strategy and a little section on trade analysis as well. So just a little summary into why I've taken a trade, any confluence for factors behind the reasoning behind why I took the trade and just an overall summary of the trade. Next is the emotions or lessons. So with this, in, this is very, very important. If there's gonna be any sort of section where you go into more detail, it's here. So you wanna keep your ASR as simple as possible, but go into detail when it's necessary. So this will be one of the sections that you do that. Now, when I actually reflect and go back on this trade, I'll add a lot more detail, but just to give you a brief summary of what I mean is, is just documenting the emotions, any sort of hesitation, fear of missing out, any sort of emotions at the time of trade, put that in there because it's so good to, it's just really good to just be honest with yourself and get those emotions out because the sooner you're honest with yourself, the sooner you can just learn from it and move on. So very, very useful. I've been doing that over the past three months and it's just very, very useful. So with that in mind, again, we've got the forecasting screenshot as the cross-reference screenshots. We've got the daily time frame and the one hour chart. And then the last but not least is the trade management section. So if we go back onto the charts, once I've been taken out of the position for either a profit, a break even, or a loss, I'll then take another screenshot. Yeah, so I've been taking out the trade now for 2.2, and I have this in at the time of the trade. So it's basically using this rail line here to track it. So if we broke back in, then I was happy to take profit because I don't know how deep this is going to correct. So with that in mind, top profit, and the market took me out for 2.2. So just gonna write a little bit of a, a section on here just for my ASR. Gonna take another screenshot at this point. Again, trade management section, just another quick screenshot to show exactly where you got out of trade. So very important when you're reviewing the process. And we can go back into Notion. So let's head back into Notion now and I'll show you the next section. So now I've taken the screenshot of the way I managed the trade. So just gonna drag that in from my desktop and you can see it's cropped up here. So all I'm gonna do next is write a little section on trade management as to why I managed the trade in that way for future reference. So give me two seconds, let me write up that now. So now I wrote a little section on trade management, exactly how I took the trade and managed the trades in live market conditions. And just overall, it's good looking back on these things in advance, actually seeing how you manage the trade. And this is where the growth comes from, because if you do make any mistakes or the trade played out, or you, you could have refined your entry and things like that, you just learn from it. So that's the most important thing. And I'll review this over, over and over again. And it's just a great checking point with yourself to keep improving, keep growing. So that's the trades that I've taken. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do in terms of the other section of my ASR, which is just equally as important. So let's get into that now. So we can see here, other go-to setups. Let's go to here. And I don't think I've taken any other go-to setups in June so far. I haven't missed any trades, cool. In terms of, let's go into April. I think there's some in here. Yep, so we can see in April, I didn't capitalize on 12% of trades that did effectively fit my plan, but for whatever reason, I'm not capitalized on that trades. 
So this is where the importance comes in because I've missed out on that. It's important to learn from it. If you don't learn from it, there's no point really going forward. You're not, you're not gonna keep improving. You're gonna stay static. It's always important to evolve with the markets and keep learning. So with that in mind, just gonna walk you through this so we can see Euro Yen sell taken on the 23rd or that's what date the setup occurred on. Profit or loss would have been 7.8% profit and it was a high probability setup. So a little section on trade analysis again here. Here's the key, you need to ask quality questions and you need to figure out exactly why you didn't capitalize on the trades. That's very, very important. So with this, was I forecasting this trade on the day? You can see I was forecasting this trade on the day, so I'd already planned for it in advance. So there's not a breakdown in my forecasting, there's likely a breakdown in my entry because I've just not taken the trade. So with that in mind, if I was forecasting this trade, why didn't I take the entry? So this is, this is a section where you really need to figure that out and really start to learn from your mistakes and tweak those little adjustments. So really done that there. Again, very similar to the other ASR document, a little section on emotional state and lessons learned. So we can see here, preparation is key when planning for high probability setups and just planning for different variations and things like that. So really starting to take away those lessons and, and dive into exactly why I didn't take the trade. And it just helps with the overall growth. So that's uh, that's huge. Again, we can see a forecast of that trade, screenshot of the daily chart, the one hour chart, 15 minute chart in this instance, and then following on from the trade management after I would have taken profit. Now, with these trades, it's very important, I think, like I explained at the conference, to treat it exactly the same as your normal ASR. The reason for this, it gets your subconscious mind adjusted to seeing these trades play out. If, you're, if, you, if your results aren't quite there yet, but within here, you're banking some serious returns with this strategy, then you, you need to close that gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. So with that in mind, this process, I think, really helps you know, close that gap over time. It's not gonna happen overnight, but close that gap over time. And that's something that I'm working on right now. So yeah, it's huge, it's definitely huge. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully it provided value seeing the process that I take. Everyone's gonna have different processes and, and different way that they do things, but it's good seeing how other people do things. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. We've got so many other videos lined up for the rest of the year, so it's gonna be exciting. So have a great week and I'll speak to you all soon.